And next thing coming to automation. I don't think how many of you have awareness in automation, Selenium. Selenium, whatever you do manually, we do everything with automation, nothing else. Many people are developing that code, AMO, automation, Java code, what to do. No, don't care. That's it. Should not care. If you don't do these things, you can't cover anything else. Nothing else you can cover, right? So, the thing the code should not care. AMO, that long script. Nothing. See, so suppose I'm asking to develop a code, a manual testing, how you write test case for this login function, basically, for example, I'm telling you. What I'm saying, open a browser, enter URL, okay, and then what you say, second step is enter username, valid username, enter valid password, click login button. That's it, right? The same thing I'm asking to do in automation using Selenium. Whatever you say, enter username, enter password, open a browser, enter URL. You are asking your tool to do that. Manually you are doing, but now you are taking one third party testing tool. You are taking the support of the third party and you are converting that manual operation into automated test script called Selenium script. Even in automation also, we write the code for object. Enter username. Username is one object, one text box. We are telling Selenium, this is my text box, input something. This is my password, again text box, input something. Do method, log, keep method, click that button to go to the next page. So, but why we are using core Java logic in Selenium? This is a question mark. Why we require core Java logic? Why can't we write only Selenium? Selenium is not providing core Java, right? Selenium is providing only Selenium code. That's it. It won't provide core Java now. We have to implement that. We need to enhance our code. We need to customize the code. We need to optimize the code according to our business requirement. Why code Java? Code Java, code Java. Code Java is very much important in any item. Even you know QTP, QTP requires some VB script and here we go with code Java. Code Java, suppose I am asking to test this login functionality for 20 times. Basically, assume that I am asking to test this login function for 10 or 20 times, more than one time. Manually how you do, you have to log in that many times, log out that many times. That's what we do manually, right? But now I am asking automation Selenium to do that. Selenium also will record only for single time. Then I can use looping statement for that. Looping, that can be for loop, that can be while loop, that can be do while. That can be looping. What is the purpose of looping? Running the block of code for more than one iteration. That means what we are what advantage we have the looping statement means we are reducing the code, selenium code. We are customizing according to our requirement and we are making the process very easy and we are executing as fast as possible. Lot of advantage. So if I don't have looping statements, if I want test thousand times means I can't return for thousand times. The leader will say get out from my office. No way, no other option we have. Is it so by using this looping statements, what we what advantages we have, we can customize the code. We can minimize the selenium code. We can optimize the things and we can verify very easily. So that situation this code Java is implementing in automation, programming logic purpose. Suppose what we do after login to your this, uh, after login to this application, say I am using enter username, password, valid username, valid password. Okay, I am asking to check whether I am getting dashboard or not. If I get this dashboard, my test case is passed. If I don't get this dash dashboard, my test case is failed. Manually, what we do? I log in with valid username, valid password. Oh, I got dashboard. We'll compare. Oh, yes, fine, working fine. And next time, I'll go for negative test. How do I do negative test? Means? I'll do invalid password or invalid uh, username, I'll take it out. If I don't get that dashboard, I'll say, oh yes, it's working fine. But now I'm using automation tool. How we do that? What we have to do for that? Again, we have to go for code Java logic, condition statement, if condition, asset. Why if condition? Taking true or false. Taking true or false. So, you see, your interaction is very much less doing automation. You are a chief. You are a director. Automation test is a director. Your hero is your selenium tool. Your story, your movie application. How you direct your tool? It works according to your direction. If you don't direct proper way, a class. Same way, 
automation tool, it all depends upon the logic. You have to understand the logic and implement the process clearly so that you can success your project. Once the automation, once I develop the code for the first version, I should make a habit of reusing it again for the upcoming version. That's very important. You cannot uh, keep on writing the code for every version. That's not the right way of uh, automating the tool. That's what, so, automation logic, that's what I know I understood. What I understood is most of you are not awareness in code Java. I will discuss whatever required, exception handling, hoop concept, object oriented concept, looping statement, what is the method, what are access modifiers in Java, okay, how to work with access modifier, which access modifier is very much important, and the conditional statement, looping statement, operators, variables, whatever basic things at least you should have because I cannot directly move into Selenium and uh, disturb you guys in between. So I will deal code Java completely, whatever is for Selenium. And then only we'll move into Selenium. Selenium, Selenium. What are the things we have in Selenium? One is called side components. There are four components we have in Selenium. One is called side. S stands for Selenium. IDE. Any idea? IDE. Integrated Development Environment. One of the tools in Selenium. One of the components in Selenium. And one is called RC. Remote control and one is called web driver, very important in the market. And one is called S grid, Selenium grid, important topic in Selenium. And one more is called Appium, Appium. So, among these four, among these four or five components, the most important thing is what we are running in the market is web driver and grid. To implement some code in web driver to logically to implement then we require code Java. RC, remote control, trapped in the market. No one is going with RC. That's closed. Because advanced things have been uh, implemented in web driver. Web driver architecture is very simple than RC architecture. That's what very less comments we have and very easy way to implement the process when compared to RC. It is very lengthy process of RC so that most of the market and most of the clients are prefer to go with web driver and even grid also. Grid. What is the purpose of grid means? One of the very good advantage we have that's what why Selenium got poisoned in the market. This is one of the reasons. Selenium is one of the reasons and Selenium grid is one of the reasons for that. What is the reason we have behind the grid? Suppose when you want to execute your test cases on multiple operating systems and multiple browsers parallelly, the grid will be helping you. The grid configuration will help you to execute your test case. One fellow can execute on Windows 7, one fellow can execute on Mac, one fellow can execute on uh, any operating parallel. UTP also we can do, but one by one, one by one we have to implement. That's different for So that's the reason. It is very much important nowadays in the market. Appium and most of the market Appium. Why they are using Appium? Appium is not a Selenium component but people are added like that. Appium is used only for mobile testing purposes. And most of the market is having a web driver but Appium is only for Silicon mobile. We don't use for any other application testing. Only uh, Android applications and uh, ISO applications can be tested using Appium. So, among 100% of the market, 3 to 4 percentage are asking Appium and rest of the percentage are asking on Selenium web driver. Web driver is one of the functional testing tools which can be used only for uh, web application testing. Any web application, healthcare project, banking domain, any project can be tested using Selenium. So, we give more importance for what? We give more importance for web driver. Why? Because most of the universally, most of the projects are done using web driver. That's the reason. Apart from this, apart from this, what we are learning in Selenium, very important topic. Like we learn Denkin, very important. And we will be learning Auto IT. I will take the importance of all these tools. Auto IT. And very important topic is Maven. Okay? And also we need to learn about uh, log 4J, 
important topic in uh, Selenium last four days. And also we need to learn uh, different uh, GitHub. GitHub. And you have to go, uh, go with the different uh, components in WebDrive. In WebDrive we have a lot of things, don't worry. And very important framework we have in the market is test NG. Powerful framework. NG. Very important topic in uh, every project. Every project they have to go with test NG configuration. Compulsory. Accordingly. So these are the these are the different tools again we are going to plug into web driver. These are the different tools again we have to plug into web driver. Most of the project compulsory they are using Maven nowadays. I'll discuss about Maven, how to configure Maven and all that. Okay. But RC, no need to discuss ID. One of the recording tools we have in Selenium. Only record and play that. We don't do anything. We don't uh, we don't allow you to write the code and we don't allow you to do anything. Just only recording and playback. Okay guys? And coming to framework. Frameworks also you have to learn some frameworks. Like uh, form, very important framework in the market nowadays. That is called page, object, model. One of the frameworks we have, very important framework. And uh, data given framework and uh, keyword keyword driven framework and we have one more framework called hybrid hybrid framework ok so these are the different types of frameworks we have but most of the market is moving on say EOM and uh, keyword driven a hybrid is a combination. You can combine any two frameworks which comes under a, a business point of view. Accordingly, we'll go ahead. Okay. So, based on our requirements, we are supposed to go with different types of frameworks. So, once we enter into Selenium, don't worry, tactical orientation. And you should be regular to the classes and you should be in time to the classes. It's, uh, uh, because if you miss some of the classes in automation, you cannot follow further classes. Very important. Manual testing is a critical part. Don't worry. Nothing to worry in the manual. I will take care of it. But automation, uh, every day I will be giving some tasks. You have to do the task compulsory. And then you have to practice on your own. I will tell you what things required, how to install. The very simple to install. Don't worry. Any OS works. Don't worry. Don't bother about OS and browsers. Don't worry. Any, let us be. Windows 10, Windows 8, not a problem. Any OS it works, it supports, don't worry. But daily practice is important and you have to be regular to the classes. Then only uh, there is a workful learning in online. Simply coming, simply running and simply raising money, we don't allow you to. You have to be regular and you have to be very quickly do practice. And even in manual testing, I told you I am giving you one project. So you must develop the test cases. And you have to share the test case with me guys. I will review them and check it out how well you are done and what mistakes you are doing on that and how to rectify them. So practically we will move it. That is that's not an issue for us. We will move practically accordingly and we will work out with that. Not an issue at all. So these are the different things we are going to discuss. Not only this, I will be sending you different materials. Don't worry about materials. Okay? Resume preparation, material, FAQ, lot of things you get from my side. Don't worry about the materials and FAQ and all that. I will take graphics, even for Java FAQs, SQL FAQs, manual FAQs, everything. Whatever things I have, I will share with you guys. You can go with them very easily, not a problem. This is how we can plan for this entire course. Yeah, do you have any questions? You can ask me for today. Yeah, that's fine for me. No, how many yeah. hours you are going to teach every day? So we are going to one and a half hours, two hours. Okay, that's fine. And uh, Bellam Konda, what about you? I'm good with the time and the schedule. Okay, so we'll meet again tomorrow session same timing. So let me start session tomorrow. Let's uh, let's go with the uh, topic of manual. Very simple manual. Don't worry. Very simple you can understand. Don't worry okay. about that. Thank you. And it was a good demo, by the way. Sure. Good. Thank you. Okay. I'll come across tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks for your demo.